This is how we took our friend's totally stock RAV4 and turned it from an ordinary car into a camper that they can use along with their dogs for travel this summer. But first we're going to talk about the supporter of this video and this project which is AeroPress and I am super pumped about it because if you guys have been following along you know that I love good coffee outside more than almost anything in the world whether it's the dead of the winter or it's in the summertime and I've been using AeroPresses almost exclusively for the past 10 years or so and so I was really pumped when they reached out because they have such a good simple system I was actually introduced to it by my mom and they're super easy to clean they make a really good cup of coffee and they're incredibly portable so today we're using our new AeroPress XL which is pretty much the family version with this really satisfying little clear viewing glass and we are making some coffee to fuel up before we dive into this project Thanks AeroPress for supporting this video and if you want to check out some of their products hit the link down below. I highly recommend looking at the AeroPress Go which is their compact travel version and it's awesome. I keep it in my vehicle full time. Alright first we cruised over to Home Depot, grabbed some hinges, some other odds and ends as well as some plywood and then we went back to my new outdoor shop and we started to size up their car. I see room for one, two people, one, two dogs. Two bikes. So the goal with this build was to have something that could ride in their car all the time and not inconvenience them, but then when they want to go camping, they're able to fold down the seats and rearrange things a little bit to have a nice flat sleeping platform for the two of them as well as their two dogs in their car. The first thing we dove into was building the half that would be in the trunk all the time that had a single drawer in the middle and some under platform storage. And we used three quarter inch ply for most of it with half inch being for the drawer itself and Craig pocket holes to join most of it together with a little wood glue. And then we mounted some drawer slides in and built ourselves a drawer box, which turned out really good. <laughs> Not bad for a man of your stature. I don't know if it's a compliment or a, or a rose, but it might be both. <laughs> Once we ensured it fit into the trunk, we added a little support piece to help hold up that little flap when it is open. And then we took the router to all of the edges in order to round them off and help prevent splintering as it gets used. And then it was time for Ryan to show off to his wife what he had created. Are you serious? This is incredible. It's like all like, wow. Next we dove into the front half of the sleeping platform that would be over the seats. And we used some cardboard to scribe onto the plywood, squared things up, and then built a support system for it. But unfortunately it got dark, I got lazy, and I didn't film a lot of it. So here we are. Hook. Oh yeah, now they're hooked. <laughs> All right. This is um, Ryan and Anna's new build. They, uh, they had, you guys had a truck um, that some, somehow went away recently okay. in a small car accident yep. they're recovered now but they've got a rav4 and they want to make it into a campable car to travel around with their dogs and so we built this thing together and they wanted it to be built so that the seats could be left in so that they can have it you know used for everyday use um, when they're not traveling and then also so that the seats can be up when their dogs are with them when they are driving around and then they wanted it to be removable so that's kind of why it's designed the way it is and it's built primarily with a uh, three quarter inch sandy was the the style um, just a home depot plywood and then a little bit of half inch on the drawer inside and that's just to reduce the weight a little bit where the structure wasn't needing to be quite as strong and then it's the way it's this shape right here because um, the, the neck of the trunk is a little bit narrower than the width of the trunk and so to fill it out um, we had to add a flap but it had to be a flap so that it could still pass through that that initial neck so um, we just install it yeah show so how much do you think this weighs probably only like 30, 35 pounds yeah. not that heavy sits so in slides all the way over to that left side where that that one is already form fitted and then kind of up against the backrest and this guy folds out like that and then so that thing's all set up and you've got your sweet drawer with 
sliding table. Get it out of the way. And that's magnetically held closed down here. So there's a little bit of tension, enough at least to where hopefully a slope won't draw it out. And then under this side, it's just kind of shove storage. And then same thing over here. And so this is like, uh, I guess the setup, if you guys are just around town, right? You'll probably just leave yeah. it in like this. Yeah, definitely. And then the other two, when you do go camping, just slide in like that. Fits perfect, totally planned it. <laughs> and then the other one goes right on the top. Maru, come here. Hey, who caused the ruckus? What do you think? So then this was the, uh, this is the setup then when they are driving to go camping. So the seats are up still. Um, and this is the main sleeping platform for when they do get to where they're going. So then once you get to where you're going, when they stop, they have to first drop these seats, then lean these two seats forward, uh, maybe even slide them forward, which we already did that. So um, you can see, and then right back here, there's two fold out flaps that are supports. And this one over here, nice and snug. And then um, we wanted to build it so that they could have some access to storage under the platform. And yeah, that's why we did it the way that we did. So this other part is a big hinging T and it's kind of a center spine support. And then these other two side flaps go down and sit on the headrest, um, the bars for the headrest. And that's just because that's like the best hard point right around here. So then, there you go. Sweet. So then there's that. And then the last piece is just the main platform. And because this is wider up here than back there, we wanted to fill out the space so that their shoulders like have extra room. Um, but that means that the piece couldn't be full width because otherwise it'd be impossible to store back here where it is narrower. So we made it um, to where it folds in half and then, yeah, you just kind of open it like a, a taco shell back here. So this then. <laughs> okay, so then this piece flips open, slides up all the way. Drops in, and then it's pretty solid as it is. Like, there's not a lot of movement, but because um, sometimes, yeah, you just find yourself climbing around, like if you want to start up your car or something, um, there's a chance of this pushing up, down and the back lifting up. So we added strings, which they're actually gonna change out for a carabiner system. Um, that's a little bit easier to use. But for now, these loops just go up and around where these headrest posts are. So then it loops in like that. And then that way, any down pressure up here doesn't cause the back jump up. And there's not a ton of headroom, but there's enough, I guess, for you guys. And that way you still have the storage on the sides under here for clothes and shoes and all that type of stuff. So that's the camper.